Mr. Chairman, for uh, this, this committee for the opportunity to testify before you in opposition to House Bill 203. My name, again, is Stuart Rosenthal, and I am a concerned citizen of one of the town halls. I'm not a public speaker, so forgive me. The ODA's current program requires that the soil samples shall be analyzed for the nutrient utilization at recommended agronomic rates to minimize nutrient runoffs to the water of the state. Why then did the ODA recently approve a draft for the pheasant run swine farm that had no soil tests for 1,372 acres? According to the ODA rules, there is supposed to be one soil test for every 25 acres. Uh, that means the draft permit was missing over 50 soil samples. Why would the ODA Director Boggs approve the draft permit? How could the ODA know whether these fields needed any manure application without the soil laboratory reports? Uh, not in my words here, but that question was asked at a public meeting in Defiance County about six months ago, maybe not that long, and I don't think we've got an answer. The ODA also recently approved a permit for the Vitch Farm swine facility with soil tests that already exceeded 600 pounds per acre. That's 10 times more than the agronomic needs of most crops. According to the U.S. EPA, over-enrichment of waters by nutrients is the biggest overall source of impairment of the nation's rivers, streams, lakes, and animal waste is now the main contributor in water pollution caused by agriculture, agriculture in Ohio. I don't understand why the Ohio Department of Agriculture continues to ignore one of the current programs critically environmental rules as they apply to the stewardship of the land. It is very disappointing that the ODA continues to approve permits based on waste disposal instead of nutrient needs. The ODA has done a poor job running their current program. Please do not reward them for their failure by approving the transfer of the NPDES program from Ohio from the Ohio EPA. I thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Rosenthal, for your testimony. Does the committee have any questions for the witness? Senator Gibbs. Uh, thank you for coming in. And I, of course, I can't argue or disagree with what you're saying the state about what happens to instances. But my understanding is in the rules, the law, that on uh, manure application, they can't exceed the, the nitrogen load of the crop use and it can't also exceed what the crop would use in phosphorus or in the soil sample. So I think that's kind of awesome. If your two instances is the case, then you know we need to have a discussion with what happened, but I can't Correct. you know okay. but I think there's a rule that should apply. It should. Thank you. Any other questions?